Wave Accounting Review, the best accounting software for businesses. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be discussing with you some of the pros and cons of Wave Accounting, how you can get started and whether or not it's worth it. So let's get into it. Now, Wave Accounting is a amazing tool to get started with when you are looking to start managing your finances in a more orderly fashion it has multiple different features such as invoicing payments accounting advisors payroll and mobile receipts as well and you can sign up for free and it's very easy to get started with fave you can just sign up with google or your email address and that's all you have to do you don't need to file in your taxes or provide a bunch of personal information just to get started. Now, there are quite a few different things you need to know about Wave Accounting because a lot of times people just jump into an accounting software and they feel like all the work is going to be done for them. However, it's not like that. You do have to have a basic understanding of what you're trying to do to be able to accurately build your business finances. So if you want to build a payroll or if the primary reason that you're using Wave is something such as, you know, building a revenue board, building a sales board. So all of that can be summarized in Wave and there are different ways that you can do that. Now, to discuss some of the basic features, first off, the biggest pro of using wave accounting is that it's free you don't have to pay anyone to get started you can get started for free and start setting up your businesses the second most important thing that i love about wave accounting is that you can create unlimited invoicing with customizable templates and payment terms with dedicated invoicing mobile applications so if you are only looking for a simple tool to be able to get started with and you just want to send a sales receipt to your customers or you just want to send you know basic invoices for your services that you are providing wave can do all of that for free and that is unlimited so you don't have any cap on that even on the free plan of wave now going into the cons so one thing that a lot of you guys are not going to find in its toolbar over here or anywhere in wave accounting is that integrations are pretty limited so if we take a look at integrations over here on wave accounting we can integrate with a couple of different tools like uh, google sheets and blue camera but if you take a look at any other integration you have to connect via Zapier, which usually just loses the point of connecting. You usually want to build an integration directly on the tool. So there are no third party or integrations with higher tier plans with additional features such as mileage tracking, time tracking, inventory management. So all of that is not provided. And if all of that was provided, it could really increase your functionality as well. Now, another issue with Wave Accounting is that there is no live support unless you pay for a service like Wave Payroll or Wave Payment. So if you are looking to build payroll on Wave, you do have to pay for that separately. And if you are paying for Wave Payroll, that's good. You're going to be able to get live support. But if you're using Wave for free, there is no live support. Then there are no audit trials, which can be essential for a small business that is trying to expand. However, one pro of Wave Accounting is that it has unlimited users with varying user permissions. Some of the best things about Wave Accounting definitely have to be their receipts or their invoicing. It is out of this world. It competes with all the paid tools out there. It offers significantly fewer bugs or issues as their competitors and it does have some of the basic functionalities however the limitation of customer support and integration and as well as higher advanced features for larger industries are not available so if you have an industry specific use case then other platforms have the tools or expandability for you to make this super industry specific however wave does not do that so wave is a very generalized platform now in terms of ease of use it's very easy to use so you can go into the launch pad and we can get started with professional bookkeeping or invoicing i can click on create invoices just click on let's go over here and we can get started with building our logo or uploading our logo so i'm just going to upload a logo from here so i'll just take this logo over here upload that then i can even choose then I can choose my accent color, then I can choose a template if I want this to be modern, classic, or contemporary. 
I think I'm going to go with the classic template and then I'm going to click on looks great. Let's go. And then we can start customizing the rest of the invoice. So let's say this is going to be a three marketing services like this. And then you can, you will see the state or the location that you have listed your business in wave. Then you can edit your business address from here as well. If you want to do that, you can change the invoice as well as add a SKU or you know, add a actual number for the invoice. Then you can add a customer. So I'm just gonna add this particular customer. So we're just gonna do that. You can click on choose a different customer and just create a new customer on the go. Let's say it's Bill. And then I can add a billing address as well. You can add, you know, a lot of information about your about your actual recipients. And then after that, we have our invoice number. So this is invoice number one. And then you can also add your PORSO number. And then you have the invoice date and payment due. So let's say it's due within 15 days of this receipt being generated. Let's say it's uh, 15 days like this. Now, after that, I can enter the items or services that I've provided. We can also click on edit columns to change them. So I want to change them from items to services. Then I want to change that from quantity to hours. And then let's say for price to rate. And then that I just want to add amount and then I can hide a specific type of column as well. You know, I've changed some of the services or some of the columns over here and then I can add my services. So social media campaign like this. And once I enter that, I'm going to enter a item description. So I'm going to add maybe, you know, whatever is your item description, you can enter that. Then the hours, let's say we spent... 600 hours on their social media campaign and then i can enter a rate of 15 or 10 dollars per hour let's say it was let's make this a bit more complicated it was 312 hours and then i've added a rate of 10 dollars per hour if it was uh, one dollar an hour you're gonna see 312 but for us let's say it's ten dollars an hour and then i can select taxes as well but i'm not gonna add any taxes i'm just gonna add a total dollar amount i can add another item as well let's say it's going to be ad generation and then let's say we spent 12 hours on that and we're charging eight dollars an hour for that like so and then i can just click on save and continue i can build the footer as well and then once you do that you will see a draft will be created so in your draft you can see if you have online payments you can turn on online payments to accept credit cards and bank payments as well as duplicating a particular order making it a recurring order as well as exporting as a pdf or print or further customization so i can just click on approve draft over here and then i can just send this invoice to the customer on their email and then i can manage the payments as well so this is what our invoice currently looks like now this is how easy it is to get started with wave it's super easy simple and you don't have to worry about anything and that is why i recommend it to most small business owners i think that if you're looking for scalability even for mid-sized businesses this works fine only if you're working in a specific industry where you need industry specific tools for your accounting then i would recommend going for a different platform but for most use cases wave is a pretty good option so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you were able to learn something new. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.